What's good, peeps? It's your boy, Eduard Toda. I'm sick right now, so I apologize if my voice sounds nasally, if I'm kind of lower energy than usual, but I had to do some of this because everything's been blown up. So I've been reading every all the comments and like, I want to say seven or eight people send me the same video with Will Tsai, T Tsai, T Tsai, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Lots of people wanted this video, so I'm going to film a reaction to this video and tell you guys what I think. Some people were saying that, uh, you know, he's, he does demon mod magic, he does black magic, all, all this stuff, and, and they were saying things like, oh, well, you see, you kind of explain this one, you can't explain this one, so therefore it must be, you know, black magic, or it must be blah, blah. Well, okay, so I tell you the explanation of that one, you're always gonna find something that I can't explain, right? You have people like David Copperfield that just hire, like, a team of 20 people to create magic for him. Like, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with that, you're not gonna be able to keep up with that, so you're always gonna have an excuse to say, oh, that guy does black magic, that guy, you can't explain that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, uh, yeah, it's most likely not. <laughs> I mean, I've never met anyone who does that, and I don't think that even is a thing, but, you know, that's up to debate. So, I'm gonna watch this video, and I'll tell you what I think. That is so sick. Woo. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so the thing is, there were a couple things that don't that weren't edited there, and a couple things that were edited. But I think, um, I mean, he apparently works for Sans Magic or Sans no Sans Mind. I think it's Sans Mind, which is a company that makes magic tricks. So uh, you know, this dude has kind of resources to to come up with crazy shit. Um, the fork thing, I've seen it before, and it's it's definitely real. It's definitely a thing. Um, the eye thing is also definitely real, but they edited it out. So the way the way it's performed normally is you close your eyes and then you open them, and uh, your eyes you know become smaller or whatever. Uh, he did it you know it, with eyes open, which I don't think that's even possible like without camera editing. So he kind I think they mixed a little bit of editing into that trailer, which I'm not I don't really mind in the trailer. That's okay. If it, if it, if they do it in the performance, then I'm kind of mad at that. But if it's in the trailer, you know. What's it's a trailer? Come on. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear these because this light is is really really irritating and I'm sick. So, you know what I mean. I know it's a douchebag move wearing glasses inside, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to take a douchebag card for this one. Okay. 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 And today, I'm going to check out the new Jiu. Jiu? 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 Okay, <笑> 
，感覺到少少喎。可以啊，試下佢，你試下先啦。佢試，佢試啦。你飛唔飛到啊？我飛到，我飛到啲嘅。真係好嘅，真係好嘅。Okay, so that that salt and pepper, I mean that pepper and water thing, um, that's very nice. Like, it's it's a very old school idea. It's a very old technique. It's a very not technique. It's a very old trick. Uh, but I always thought of it as like a bar scam type type trick that you like, you know, you you. you but he, the way he performs it, he performs it like a mentalist. He he thinks he says, look, I can move this pepper with my mind. <laughs> That's a cool idea. I never thought of, never thought to do that. Um, the zap thing again is a very nice ad addition to it. Um, simply because like he just demonstrated telekinetic powers, and now he's kind of showing, you know, engaging with a different sense. So he's he first he engages with, you know, the visual aspect. You can see the pepper moving. Then he engages with a tactile aspect where they can actually feel a little shock when they touch him. That's really nice. Like I, I think this guy's performances are really nice. Uh, even though a lot of people talk shit about him and his company, but we'll we'll, we'll get to that in the next video actually. So stay tuned. 下一个魔术先吸落埋，我哋试下用埋观众身上身上面可能有嘅嘢。身上面有嘢，身上面。眼镜，锁匙，讲就好多，剪就唔好啦，剪就好啦。系啊，仲埋。讲你又玩我哋，几年要啊？几年要啊 ？OK， 成班见到你啊？我翻嚟啦。OK 嘅 ，OK， 系咪真系讲嚟嘅？系。而家先拍到。咩口味啊？即系明华，即系明华，我未试过呢一只，系 candy， 反就真系好细，睇清楚啲。第二个啦噃，同样一只手指 ，three two one， 爆炸，好，讲爆炸咗喎，系唔系爆炸咗？讲呢个，食食得噶，食得，咩嚟啊？爆谷嗰啲咩噶？爆炸糖咪就係，爆炸糖咯，係啊，姐，有啲係咪嗰啲爆谷嗰啲？好味，好味，幾盞星星啊！好嘢喎，喂，呢個地瓜嚟真係好鬼勁喎，仲有冇啲其他地瓜 ？That's really cool, but for some reason I have a suspicion that he told him to bring candy or he told him to. You know, but he he kind of makes it seem like, oh, what, what do you guys have on you? What do you what do you have? Oh, do you have that? I mean, I, there's a lot of people that do that. It's not he's not the first, but for some reason, I I feel it's a little bit dodgy to be like to tell the host like, okay, have make sure you have this on you, and then you know it, it's it's almost getting to the point where you're working with your with your uh, audience, like you're on the same team, and I I don't like that vibe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of how, how what I'm feeling about this one. 有，仲有嘅喺邊度啊？咁不如我哋嗌定多啲觀眾去睇啦，好嘛？好啊！好啦，好好好好。嗱，呢啲嗱，點解係印多啲嚟睇你依一個特異功能啊？係啊。咁頭先用一隻手指嚟示範第二功能啦。如果成隻手攤開，會發生咩事呢？攤開嘅話咧就好勁啦！攤開啊！攤開。O K， 試下啦，好嘛？哦。嚟咯喎！哇哇哇哇！好神奇啊呢个！呢个啲睇电影嗰啲咁样咩？系啊！系啊！我哋自己中意啊！系啊！咁样做，我唔知喎。咁样做。咁如果攞一个好硬净嘅嘢嚟只叉啦，嗯，摆喺呢只手上面，咁将啲细胞喐得好快，好似个微波炉咁样，撞击会发生咩事咧？试下好嘛？前坡，哦，哎，反地心吸力，而且向上弯，哦，弯晒喎，弯晒喎，哇，好劲噶，哇，好劲，最高能力最高境界，系咩嘢？人前人，咁样试下，可以吗？可以，得噶，好啊，得噶。首先一樣，伸隻手出嚟，揸住佢，好簡單。我哋將我隻手擺喺你隻手度，揸住佢，係佢將啲能量過俾你。Just try to feel me right into your hand, alright？ 嚟嘅啦噃。啊？慢慢嚟。喂喂，佢敲錯。點解？點解嘅？
最外面嘅枝係嘛？好似佢喺隻手度掙扎咁樣。That's some powerful stuff right there. 一次冇翻身。有冇感覺？有冇感覺？真係。Okay, so one thing that I'm again slightly suspicious of. How did he know to take both both forks? Like I feel like if if a spectator was like, oh, I want to try two, he'd pick up one and copy exactly what she did. But how does he know to pick up both? You see what I'm saying? It, it feels a little bit fishy. Like my instinct tells me it's slightly fishy, but I I don't know. I have no clue. And and this stuff is possible. Like what he's doing right now is is you know metal bending. It's a, I think it's a sub subcategory of mentalism. And it's uh you know it's really nice it's um I don't want to give anything away but it's it's very it's very possible it's very you know it's a good routine it's an awesome performance but I just feel like these the way these hosts are interacting with the tricks I I almost feel like they've rehearsed this and uh, uh I don't know how to feel about that but I might be wrong I might be wrong I might be wrong. <laughs> Okay, it's freaking out. What the hell? Clearly, you haven't seen enough magicians because it's quite a common theme in magic to let the to at least get the spectator to feel like they're doing the magic themselves. In fact, that's actually kind of my favorite things to do. Um, you know, oftentimes with, without um, when I'm letting them pick a card, as opposed to me holding the pack, I'll either get them to do it, or, or maybe I'll say, "Tell me, stop," and I'll just count cards down. Or, um, I, you know, at every level, I, I I feel like you should be giving them a feeling that they're doing it. You know, um, that's why I don't really do uh, color changes, and I don't really do that. Much. Like I, I focus a lot on mentalism when I'm performing to other people. And I think that's I think that's a reason because I feel like it helps. Give that feeling to the spectator that they're kind of responsible. Whereas if you just do a color change and it changes the card changes from one card to another, it's cool on camera. It's cool. It looks cool, but it you know it's it's the magician doing it. It doesn't feel like the spectator is really involved. So um, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, that's really cool, and it would look great on stage, right? But the fact that it cut and then that scene started, right? The eye thing, as I said in the beginning, that's how it should look. That's the actual way you would perform that. You can't do it with your eyes open, uh, I, I, as far as I know. Now that little like the levitation, the thing smashing, you can see that there's a cut there, right? So to me, that tells me there was a setup there, and the, the host or the audience, you know, the the people that will run the show, I guess, 
uh, and that he's performing to are kind of in on it. They knew they, you know, so they, they kind of didn't necessarily help with the setup. Maybe they got fooled anyway, who knows? But there was definitely like, okay, leave now, come back now. Or well, I, I don't actually know what happened, but it just feels fishy to me. It doesn't feel like there were actual audience members that had no clue what was going on and they've never been told there was no setup. What I'm trying to say is that what he did was all legit. What, what he did was all legit, but I feel like the audience members, aka the hosts, aka you know the people he was performing to, kind of had an idea of what was happening. Maybe there was a rehearsal. So uh, uh, it looks good on TV. Don't get me wrong, he's still amazing. I just don't like the fact that the, the audience is ungenuine, right? And that, that's at least the feeling I get, but I might be wrong. But hey, I like his performances, I enjoy watching him, and I'm sure if you, you know, if you got him in real life and he could perform for real people, I'm sure, right? Um, and it's kind of a moral dilemma here, because like, on TV sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely, I got more fooled by the one on America's Got Talent, for sure. That one, you know, I still have no really clue. Everyone's trying to come up with theories as, as to how he did it. Hey, it doesn't really get me closer to the, the answer, and I'm not really trying to get there, because there's no way I'm gonna be performing that exact trick. Uh, I mean, I can't, you know, I do sleight of hand, he does, like, in that trick he doesn't, I'm not gonna be able to do that, so, um, I'd rather not know, to be honest with you. If you guys enjoyed that, uh, hit me up, you know, leave a like, subscribe, I'll be doing daily videos. Tomorrow's video, I actually want to touch on uh, a lot of the, the things that people have been talking about him and how he might not be the good guy everyone thinks he is, but... I actually want to look into that and uh, see if there's any validity behind what people are saying and any accusations. So I'm going to kind of do a little like magic news, if you will. Uh, just kind of looking into this guy's background, looking into his business and see what he's up to. Uh, people have been saying he, he likes to steal people's tricks and, and sell them himself and I've heard a few things. Uh, but I'll, I'll definitely look look into it and tell you, tell you what I think. Um, so if you like that, stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, Tell me what else to react to and uh, I'm... thank you for all the support. Peace.